all right guys welcome back so so we're talking about how to add a conversion uh code a a pizza a facebook pizza code to your uh, landing page so you'll be able to track events happening on your landing page in this uh, channel we've talked about how to create a free uh, landing page or a free uh, conversion page uh, anyone you want to call it that you can use for your business that you can use to run facebook ads or other form of ads so today we're talking about how to add Facebook pixels to this page, which is system.io. In the previous lessons, I talked about how to set up a system.io account and make sure that everything is fully functional. If you haven't watched that video yet, you can go over there and watch it. So these steps is pretty similar to other landing page builder like Click Funnels and Builderall. You can go and check. Uh, you can just follow these systems and you'll be able to uh, walk through the process of doing your own no matter the uh, landing page you're using but if you are using system i will show you the exact steps to uh, doing this perfectly and as usual please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you get to see all of the uc topics we'll be discussing about all of the uc tutorials we'll be creating on this channel so if uh, you want something that has to do with uh, internet uh, being digital being online uh, you would need anything for, concerning that i bet you you want to be subscribed to this channel so you get to know all of this so today without waiting much of the time we are supposed to go into our business uh, settings in our facebook business manager so to get here you need to go to business of facebook.com slash overview but get get your business setting make sure it's using the right account the right that account that you want to create a pixel for so for those of us that don't have a pixel already it's quite uh, easy to create a pixel all you need to do is you see here i've created pixel i've added an asset which is me so you firstly add an asset which is you if you have not added yourself and you add a page to it then you come to data source so we have added our pages we have added our, our account then the next thing we are supposed to do is to create a pixel i already have a pixel here and this is pixel that we use to track anything that's going on, on our page any conversion any kind of stuff that's happening on our page this is what we use to track it so what we then do is uh come over here you see this is the pixel that's owned by me i created the pixel already this is a pixel you see this pixel is already here it's live you can uh, see the ID is here you see this picture that I've installed will help me in tracking events happening in my page on my page this is the ID so let's open this in the event manager so you see what I'm talking about so you can see what uh, basically the what's the use of Facebook pixel so for those of us that don't know the use of Facebook pixel once I open this I'll be able to explain a lot better to us I have two pixels installed on my on this uh, pixel particular pixel I'm using I'm tracking two events I'm tracking uh, the leads and also tracking page views those are the things I'm tracking see I named it or say global view to a modern pixel so let's see the review of what's happening on a page so with this pizza you can be able to tell what's happening on your page the amount of page visitors uh, the amount of persons that go to a particular page if you install it directly, if you install it correctly, you should be able to tell the amount of leads you've gotten and those kind of stuff. You see, uh, you see the pixel here. So you see, there's the view. Okay, uh, let's leave that for now. You can see from here. This is a graph showing all the activities happening on the system that I that I have listed. You can see the number of people that have visited it. Thirteen year, three year. So this is. Uh, you can add events using the conversion API. So you see there are two events I'm tracking. I'm tracking page views and leads. So don't worry, I'll tell you how to do all of this if you stick with me on this video. You see I've gotten a total number of uh, page view system. Total number of leads is eight. So these are some of the things I'm tracking on this view. You can test events and see what's going on. You can test events yeah so so this is basically what facebook pixar is tracking what's going on on your 
on your uh, page or your Nali page so you'll be able to tell what's working and what's not working. So I'll be telling you how to add this pixel that we have, we've created to your page. So let's close that at, we're not using this, let's close that. So what we then do is, if we want to assign partners to this, but let's copy this first. Let's say we've copied this, we've copied this, and uh, this is owned by, let's, let's add a new one, so we we'll see. So we want to, if you want to rename it, this same same thing. And note guys, once you've created it, I don't think you can delete it. So make sure you create it, create your pixel that you need. So that's the name, I've named it here. So this is set up pixel now. Continue management business, set up the yeah, pixel now. So manually add pixel to, to website. So once you click this, a, a code will appear that you are supposed to copy. So you copy that. Let's close that out. I don't want to, but I think it is, yeah, it has shown already. So once you've clicked that, you, if a pixel code will appear, then you copy it. Then you come over to system.io. This is where we've, we have logged in. System.io. This is your dashboard. Go to phones. So we are to add these pixels we've copied from Facebook so that Facebook will be able to track what's happening on our page. So what we then do is click on the phone we want to add a pixel to. And we have two pages here. We have a squeeze page and the thank you page. The squeeze page is where they land and the thank you page is uh, where they have confirmed as a lead. So I'll tell you how to set up a lead uh, lead uh, campaign that's monitoring lead on your system.io account. So you're able to know the amount of leads you've gotten for a particular campaign you're running on Facebook. So what we then do, so this is uh, what we built in our, in our previous lessons. I'll link a video on how to build up a sales phone or a landing page from scratch using a free tool which is system.io. I will teach you all, I will leave the link on, on the video I taught all of this in the description box below. You can check it out and, and do where to to apply, do where to follow through the uh, discussions and the lessons and you will uh, be able to do one of these for yourself. So going to this video again, uh, yes, we are to come over to yeah settings these are okay, yeah let's go down scroll down okay so what we're supposed to do over here is come over to uh yes settings okay. let me see something coming let's say it's off come over to not pop okay let's see if, uh in our previous videos, if you want me to teach you how to add pop up, I forgot to add pop up to it. But if you want to teach, teach me, uh, teach you how to add pop up, comment pop up below. But for this, let's go to settings. On settings, you scroll down to so you see where it says header. So don't forget, guys. If you see, if you want me to, uh, to add, to teach you how to add pop up, add comment pop up on the comment section below. So in this place where it says tracking. You click on edit header code so we are supposed to add this code to the header of our landing page so this is the facebook uh this is where we add the header you can see i've already added it here so that's where i was able to track that so you see i've already added it here that was why i was able to track the number of page views i'm having on my, uh, my landing page you click on save remember to click save changes then you go back so we will track uh leads so this is for tracking number of people that have viewed my landing page so those persons that have that imputes their details and come to this tanky page so we already have their emails and their names so they're already a lead so we want to make sure that we signify that whosoever lands on this thank you page is a lead so this is how we do it so we want to make sure that this is where we make sure that this is where we indicate as our lead so that whenever person is land here because we have already gotten their email address and their name so they are now a lead so we come over here to edit header again header code 
you can select this not can can lead here. Edit header code. Edit header code. So once we edit this code, we paste the same code that we've copied from from uh, Facebook. But we add one line. This one I highlighted. In the first one you see is page view, but this one is leads. You save it. So that's like tracking a particular event. We are tracking a particular event. And in this case, the event we are tracking is leads. You can track conversion, you can track sales. They are all in the events manager. You can go into Facebook event manager and look for it. As you look for the event yourself. You'll be able to track it and know everything, all the events, all the different events you can track. So that's what Facebook can do for you. So just go into this event group source or type how to track any particular event you want. Or if you don't, or if you don't uh, come up with any good results, comment below and I'll teach you how to track any event. But for this tutorial, we're tracking a lead. So we add the same, uh, the same pixel you copy from Facebook and you just add that additional line that I showed you earlier. So this is it. You can see this is no recent activity, meaning it's not active. But if you go to this other one, you see it's red, meaning it has been linked. It has been linked, it's red. It's, so it's red, it's linked. So this one is, is, the other one is not active, but this one is active, showing it's red. So once you see red here, it shows you have successfully added the particular pixel to your, so any landing page to anything, meaning it's active, something is going on there. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in our next video and don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below. Bye bye.